and um, there are many kinds of prayers but prayer is a way of developing our relationship with the Lord and if you see all of the prayers the format of all the prayers <clears throat> is always that uh, the person who is praying if you see Kunti Maharani's prayers Pralad Maharaj's prayers the prayers of uh, the Damodar Ashtakam prayers uh, prayers of Lord Brahma, prayers of the Vedas to Lord Krishna, so many different prayers. They always have a particular format. First, they glorify the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then the next set of prayers would be expressing how we are so fallen and how much we are dependent on the mercy of the Lord and then it asks for a special spiritual benediction it asks for the prayer ask for shelter to the Supreme Lord and expressing how grateful we are for your shelter because we don't even deserve it and still you are providing that shelter and here also Lord Shiva is explaining in the same way, he's glorifying the Lord, saying that uh, he's glorifying by expanding your transcendental vibrations. You reveal the actual meaning of everything. That's your potency. He's glorifying. And you are the ultimate goal. You are all pervading. And he's explaining how, therefore, I offer my respectful obeisances again and again. When we say obeisances, obeisances means uh, namaha. When we say namaha, namaha means it comes from the word na mama. Na mama. Na means no, mama means mine. Namaha means na mama, it's not mine. Whatever I have is not mine. I offer it to you, it's yours. That's why it comes. Namaste. Namaste means uh, in the Vedic culture, we say also Namaste. And Namaste means Namaha Te. Namaha means Na Mama Te, yours. Which means when we, when a guest comes, the host is saying, I'm so grateful that you came. All this, this house that you've come to is not mine. It belongs to you. And that's the hospitality. Please feel free to think, to, to do whatever in this house. Because the understanding is that uh, everything in this house belongs to Krishna. Everything belongs to Krishna. We acknowledge that. And when a guest comes, we are extending that same courtesy. Uh, he is not God, but he is as good as God to, to that person. So therefore, in some sense, it is tricky to say namaste, to greet everyone with namaste, because then we are actually saying this all belongs to you. And if the guest takes it literally, we might get into trouble. So therefore, it's better to uh, invite everyone by saying Hare Krishna, because then it's safer. You know, we're saying, yes, we all belong to Krishna. Let's take shelter of Krishna. Uh, but anyway, jokes aside, uh, this is the pattern of prayers that we must follow. When we go to have darshan of the deities or whenever we are praying, if we are praying from the heart, then we should make sure that before we request, come to the point of requesting spiritual benedictions, we must follow the etiquette to please the Lord by glorifying him. Because that's the purpose of our existence. That's the reason we are separated part and parcels of the Lord. Our constitutional position is just to glorify the Lord. That's how we get connected with the Lord as in the mood of servant of the servant. That's our constitutional position. We cannot change that no matter what. So first we glorify the Lord, then we uh, express our fallen condition and how much in need of shelter we have. And then we ask for that spiritual benediction, which ultimately in, in different forms, but ultimately the essence is to ask for shelter. Here he's 
uh, and to be grateful to be offered shelter. Respectful obeisances means obeisances means I'm grateful, I'm thankful. Dandavat pranam. I'm prostrated obeisances. I'm going all out like a danda. I'm surrendered to you like a stick. And that's why it is best to offer prayers, repeat the prayers of the previous acharyas and uh, of the great devotees. Because in our consciousness, sometimes we are so eager to get to that benediction that we do not follow the etiquette which will actually please the Lord. Even prayers are there for the pleasure of the Lord. And when we sing these uh, bhajans like Gopinath, like of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Narottam Das Thakur, they bring us in that proper consciousness. So he